Hey guys, so I'm continuing um, the game against Mr. Go and my boy Pickles. Um, yeah, it's a uh, one euro point. And of course, if it's your first time watching, I'm Wesley from Open Face Solutions. I play and coach uh, Pineapple OFC Poker. So um, this is obviously a very premium hand with trips in the starting hand. At, at, at one glance, I saw King King Queen, and I was thrilled. But it's it's only better this way. Um, so so there's not a lot of queens. Um, one out to the king. I'm just gonna settle for there's some aces, right? Three aces. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna be greedy because having position I can always add a card that is pretty live on the next pool so I'm kind of like maybe giving up a quarter or a third of a full house not actually giving up a full house because whatever if I add a 7 or a 10 it's still gonna be like a huge favorite to make a full house so I'm just gonna play something in the middle I would prefer if there were two queens though So, uh, Mr. Go, he's, he, he, so, uh, you, you, you could cat categorize this type of opponent as, uh, someone who, uh, only goes for royalties. It's kind of overplays for royalties because just looking at his cards, he, firstly, he could have started with the Queen of Clubs on top because this is, a uh, regular pineapple, so, um, well, Queen's fantasy is pretty standard. It, it's a it's a it's a crucial part of the game plan. So if he did if he did that, he would have Queens on top already, and um, pair of eights in the middle. And well, I suppose as played because there's only one Queen, he he's just waiting out for the Queen High Club flush, which looks decent. Like he he could actually get the Queen High flush pretty often. But um, if he had played Queen of Clubs top, he would be a huge favorite right now. Wow, look at this. This is the pool that I wanted when I played the pair of sixes in the middle. So now I can draw the two quads. And also, when you have quads, this space over here in the bottom row it becomes like a rubbish bin where you can. Um, put something that's unwanted and still have you know the maximum spaces so like um, there's still one queen which is what 15 percent 15 percent of uh, queens that's like uh, about two in EV but sevens is worth two as well so I'm gonna play sevens because that way I can maybe scoop my boy but with queen high if I don't hit my queen uh, I, I can't scoop my boy so I'm gonna play a pair of sevens I'm a, a little low on the time bank so I, I, I don't wanna have to auto play my hand uh, I wanna play the six if it comes so yeah, Mr. Gaul with eights and threes, he should have a pair of queens by now. So his um, obsession with royalty kind of screwed him. Um, yeah, nothing, no five or six, but I do manage to scoop my boy. 
Oh, if I played Queen High, I would also scoop him. I think I scoop both of them. So I think just now, oh, this is a very, very, very nutty hand, and uh, my boy because I think I think we should always play three three ten from out of position. It's kind of screwed now with the so many diamonds out. So um, back to the hand just now with the. Trip kings and with queen being one out, if I was from in the early position, with two opponents behind. Um, first out at the five. With two opponents behind, um, I I don't have so that that kind of uh, clear information about my outs. So I would probably play the full house. So I trip kings, uh, pocket sixes on the first pool. I, I would probably play the full house because there's not much fantasy value when the queen is one out. So the queen is one out again. I'm just gonna add the jack. I'm in the middle position. There's still a lot of kings actually. Uh, seven, so five. Uh, yeah, four kings. This is tough. Four kings in three way. Yeah, I I have to anticipate kings. It's kind of uh. So look, my boy Picos. He's uh going for diamonds. It's kind of a long shot. So here's one king. Oh, made the wrong choice of the kicker. Uh, but I think it was the right play. There's a lot of king jack. I can make it with. Can, might be able to get king jack. Oh, that's really, yeah, King Jack, the, kind of the reason why I didn't play the Jack on top. So, my boy's really lucky to, uh, you know, there, there was some conflicting, you know, he had some conflicting outs, because four diamonds, it, it blocks itself. He, he managed to get uh, two pairs and the four diamonds. So because um, in the previous episode when I was playing with Mr. Go, I was I, I talked about how we should handle uh, middle pairs like jack pairs and ten pairs, nine pairs in the top row. Um, I think the the previous hand kind of gave you some insights about uh, when to 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 play a jack high on top. And try to try to hit it for the six points, and when not to do it, which is when you know when there are four kings or four queens, and when Jack also plays a, a row in the bottom row because it, it could make two pairs. Uh, this hand is pretty crappy. Um, prob probably going to be scooped by both of them. So, still got a minute, let me think. 
Uh, two points if I play a straight. I'm, just, I'm gonna play a straight because I think it's still better than um, playing a straight. At least I have the nut high. But the other way would be like random two pairs, aces in the middle and sevens on top. So I think this way I can counter scoop against people who have two pairs at the bottom. Well, neither of them have two pairs at the bottom. Mr. Gall was uh, scooping me anyway, so I think either way it was a pretty bad hand. Losing 16 points in a three way fantasy. So, yeah, Mr. Gall, I think he should play. Jack nine and you know a six in the middle, or, or maybe or maybe nine six in the middle, uh, nine six at the bottom, because I have two tens. Jack nine nine six doesn't really matter, but Jack nine six is a little strange. So my boy Tico's he has a clear play. Uh, his late position with a two out of ace. Um, so actually, I thought he played a seven three at the bottom, but now he's played one seven at the back. I think that's really bad because in position he, he sees that sevens and threes are both three outers. It's it's a to me it's a it's a no brainer to play seven three. Basically, every time he hits 7 or 3 in this pool, he's gonna wish he played 7 3 together. So basically, he, he's just playing 2 out of ace and 7 3 to make 2 pairs. Maybe he saw the hearts coming. 4-3 deuce 4-3 mm, deuce Still some Some of each left Jack 9-6 special I'm scooping both of them so um, it's but 4-3 deuce it's kind of a lot of outs 5 outs it's about 6, 60% close to 60% oh this is tough Yeah, I wish I didn't have so many outs. I think I have to gamble. Five outs in three ways is a bit too much, even though I'm out of position. Yeah, it's 60%, so... Five outs in three way, out of position, 60%. Even though I, I'm, I, I think I'm scooping both of them with a full house, so 12 points of value, still plus EV. Ace, five, mm, aces would have made it. So 
So since Mr. Gao makes two pairs in the middle, I couldn't actually scoop him with uh, full house and one pair, so um, even more reason to, to gamble. Because the, the ratio of the reward to the risk would be better. So I think there are quite a few such hands in the in the previous episode and this one where I could play a full house but it was a conflicting draw. So I could choose between a full house or a uh, a gamble to fantasy land with a s like three, four, five direct outs. It's kind of a st very standard spot. So um, we always have to weigh the the pros and cons of each play. Um, so eight is two outs. There's a bunch of aces, a bunch of kings. So um, even though I have a straight flush draw, I'm just going to be, be aggressive. It's quite, quite a few times in my experience, I bust hands like this with like five of spades and ace high and then brick, brick, brick. But still, still, it's still right to gamble. Especially because this early in the hand is four aces, three kings. Just, um, way too early to to be conservative. After I get a straight flush, I can be cons conservative. my eight so king three it's um so I'm not playing the th the three in the middle because if if eights are not live then there's not much point playing a uh, a three here because the th the purpose of the three would be to make threes and eights. So um, I'm either waiting for a card that is um, three outs or leaving room for ace queen. Or yeah, sometimes pocket pair. So that's like one ten, one eight, two kings. So yeah, individually, my middle and my bottom row are both quite live. Some conflicting outs like ten of spades. Uh, yeah. Drew a bunch of bottom outs, but no outs for the middle. So e even if I could see all my draws, I, I don't think I'm, I can make this. So my boy has like one eight, Mr. Goals, one eight. Two jacks, uh, one eight, one jack, one ten, three outs. So they they could they could both both foul. No, Mister Gao doesn't foul. My boy has one out. Oh no, he 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 now has no outs. Except for uh, backdoor. Backdoor like seven four. So 
so <laughs> my boy is raging because Mr. Go uh, he hit the eight. Well, he was going for one out himself, and he got taken by Mr. Gall. So I th uh, let me see how many combinations I had. Um, so I think there were five spades. And five outs in the middle as well. So, so five times five, uh, twenty-five. But the ten of spades is. Um, ten of spades is not live. Probably I had something like 20, 24 combinations because uh, because ten, 10 of spades is a conflicting out which is quite decent, it's about 30 something percent in in uh, three way actually. Let me check. Let me check my charts. Um. Yeah. So this could be shocking to a lot of people, but um, the combo draw, like the one I had, uh, the simultaneous draw that I needed, it's actually about thirty percent. So it's it's like mind boggling to a lot of guys that. Um, that uh, a, a perfect draw could be as high as 30% um, let's see 9 and 6 my boy has 3 so I've got 5 outs that's about 30-ish percent um, too low because I could scoop him so I'm gonna play ace queen and sometimes I can still make it with a perfect draw I don't want to commit. Yep, making the wrong guesses. Oh, I'm 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 tired. Uh, five outs is actually forty five percent. But because uh my boy could foul. Or he could, he might not foul, but still get scooped by me. So, uh, and I was also con considering that I had a, a nut flush against a fantasy, which is often a counter scoop. So, it becomes uh, way more expensive to gamble. And there, there was a slight chance. Um, five, four. There was about tenish percent. Uh, chance that I'll, I'll make perfect draw in the fantasy so all those reasons made it less uh, less attractive to, to gamble and play the aces on top five outs yeah 45 percent Queens. <coughs> it's really interesting because um, 
for for the previous hand. Um, pairing the oh, I made it on the second pool. That's really lucky. So it's time to go for uh, quartz full house and trip queens, I guess. So the thing is, um, if I played the aces on top with Jack Jack nine six in the middle on the previous hand, it would be a plus EV play. But that's because the hand, the cards are plus EV. But um, playing ace queen high, ooh, that, that's the quartz, like I said. So I'm gonna play the six. Oh, it doesn't matter because the last pool. I was thinking of hiding the jacks, but it doesn't matter anymore. So I just wanna deuce, deuce queen. Do 